Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to actually lower your ping in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. I'm gonna show you a simple tool, how to identify which is the best DNS server in your near for the least amount of latency. I'm also gonna show you some extra tweaks, how to actually improve your network connection. And if you guys still haven't, please follow me on Twitter, guys. Like, I'm super active there. So if you guys wanna get the latest updates, please make sure to follow me on Twitter. It's super easy. And with that said, if you enjoyed today's content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And for and for this, let's get straight into topic. And yeah guys, the program I want to show you in today's video to actually lower your ping in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8 is called DNS Bench. And you gotta get this program super easy guys, just simply click on the first link in the description guys where you can find my Discord. Just simply join on there and there you can get this program from. And once you get it here on your desktop guys, just simply double click onto it and you can already see that this program got launched. And the program is already utilizing in the background which are like the best DNS servers in your local for the lowest amounts of ping. So it's gonna just like try out all the different servers here and if we click onto owner we can also see who owns these servers. We got Google, Cloudflare, Quad9, I don't even know that company, ATL and all of these companies here more or less guys. And what you want to do in the first place before we're gonna actually apply any settings here guys is click onto run benchmark and now it's gonna test literally like which DNS server is the best in your locals already and you can see that I got Google here, I got an NTT server which is also quite good and it's just gonna go through all of them and check them for um, uncatched, cached and .com speed and I'm gonna explain you in a second what we need to do to find out which is actually the best one for gaming you can see it's checking like all of the DNS servers here in our near and yeah literally the ones here which are like red they're like the worst ones so we're just gonna go up here and we can already see that the NTT communication one is the fastest one but we have to actually filter it also for other speeds to determine which one is the best for gaming so please just let this run in the background it's not gonna take like super long maybe like only like a few minutes and yeah it should be done in a second here we can also click here on status on the top line and see which DNS servers are working which are not working which are like kind of working but yeah they're like really bad and yeah then we can also click here again on response time and as you can see entity is still in the first place and as you can see guys it's done by now and this program literally also offers you to create a whole entire list with like 50 to 75 of the best DNS servers in your near you can click on to build custom link but guys it's gonna take 35 minutes and to actually give it like the best results guys you have to preferably be the only person using this internet connection right now so yeah if you guys want this extra step just simply click on build custom list and it's gonna give you like a new entire list here with all of the best servers but I already did this so I'm gonna click here onto not now right now and yeah now we can see that NTT should be usually the fastest one here for me we have the lowest catch speed but what we guys actually need to do is right click onto this and sort by uncatched performance this is the most important one guys and now we as well need to right click here again and remove all of the dead name servers which is gonna take only like a few seconds then we gotta right click again and remove redirecting servers servers as well go into it and remove slower name servers as well and as you can see guys the fastest one here for me is the Google server if we take a look we have the fastest uncatched cache and .com speed here on this server and I've been actually using this already for a really long time and I also told you guys in a previous video that this is the one which works the most for all the people and what we need to do now guys to actually play here this best DNS server is to go into a Windows search bar and just simply type in network adapter until we find manage network adapter settings just simply open it up and click onto more network adapter options and this new window here should pop up and as you can see I'm right now using an Ethernet connection on the Realtek gaming family controller and then we just simply gonna double click onto it and go onto properties and there we can see now somewhere here internet protocol version 4 and we're just gonna simply double click onto it and now we can see here that we can use the following DNS server and yeah we can put in a preferred DNS server and an alternative one and yeah guys since the DNS benchmark even taught me that the fastest DNS server in my near is the Google one we just gonna go here back into our Ethernet settings and we gotta type in as a preferred DNS server 8888 and as alternative one this is like the second one which is also in conclusion with the Google one I'm just gonna type in 8844 which was also like one which was on the top just as a safe spot guys put in like any alternative server I just like to use the Google one then as well here just to make it like work perfectly fine and then we're gonna click onto ok click on ok here as well close this and this is pretty much it already guys like we're done here with all the steps this DNS benchmark tool is super super nice and I just gotta say this helps you out a ton and depending on where you live you might have a different server location but for me here the Google one was the best so therefore I just put it in there and yeah I hope this was helpful and once we're here again guys in Fortnite there are also tons of settings we can apply here directly in the Fortnite settings themselves to actually get lower ping and the first one would be under game category your matchmaking region please make sure to put this exactly on the region where you guys are from because if you put it on auto Fortnite might maybe give you a server which has a better
better connection but is further away which will result in a higher ping so therefore please just put it exactly on the region where you're from. For me it's Europe so I'm just gonna put it on Europe. If you're from NA East just put it on NA East and it's that easy. And as we move over to the account and privacy section ones, player surveys, we gotta make sure to turn this off guys because there's also a service which is running in the background, just simply leave it off and this also connected to the Epic Games servers and therefore just simply put it off here. Next up show text chat is also a separate service guys which is running actually on your task manager you can literally check this for yourself guys so please make also sure to put this one here actually off guys since it's also draining your network connection show on career leaderboard you can also turn this off guys if you're literally struggling with high ping because this is also service which is running in the background consistently sending data to the epic game servers so therefore yeah just see please make sure to put this actually to off and with that said we already applied all of the most important settings to get closer to zero ping in fortnite chapter 2 season 8 and as a final tip guys once we're actually here on the normal desktop on your windows pc just simply open up your task manager and once we're in here we're just gonna make it maybe a little bit bigger so it's easier to read and yeah guys once we're actually here in our task manager we're just gonna take a look at the network category and we click once onto it so it displays like all the applications which are right now taking like the most amount of your network speed and as you can see the only thing which is actually taking like a little bit is discord and the epic games launcher itself because i have nothing in the background running but maybe you guys may have any application here which is actually in the red or orange area guys which is like taking like a huge chunk of your network speed please make sure to actually right click onto them and end the task this is like the easiest way how to fix it because maybe you guys have like any programs in the background where you didn't even know how much network speed they are usually taking so therefore please double check it here for yourself it's super super easy guys just simply like once click here onto network and you can see like straight up the application which is using the most and in most cases it's literally like the one application on top which is using like the most of your network speed and causing your high ping and stutter so therefore yeah just simply close it but i mean your discord 0.1 megabytes per second this is literally nothing so therefore you don't have to be worried about discord or steam or whatsoever since they're only taking like a very small chunk of your network speed so therefore you don't have to worry there but if you have any more bigger programs there or maybe like a potential download in the background this is how to literally find out and besides that guys i also want to mention that i'm soon gonna host a giveaway for gk61 with optical gatron yellow switches and tomoko keycaps and i'm gonna be announcing it on my twitter guys so if you still don't follow me just simply click on the link in the description there should be my twitter or my name at least and just simply follow me there just simply go on twitter and tap in the stripes you should find my profile instantly and yeah i'm gonna soon announce it so therefore i just want to mention it here real quick and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help most so so much and if you still have any more questions for free to ask me then down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace